The Kerala government released the 233-page Justice K. Hema Committee report on Monday. The decision to release the findings of the report came after the Kerala High Court dismissed an appeal filed by actress Ranjini against an order of a single judge bench, allowing the release of the report on working conditions of women in the Malayalam movie industry. The committee submitted its report to the government in 2019. Even though the report was filed five years back, the details of the report were not released as it was believed to contain sensitive information. The State Information Commission had to reasonably disseminate the information in the report while ensuring that it does not compromise the privacy of individuals. The government had, on Thursday, said the HEMA committee report release would happen after the removal of 63 pages that contained sensitive information which would affect the privacy of the people mentioned in it. The original report has 295 pages. Now joining us is Kerala-based journalist Jisha S. Jisha, welcome to Indie Today, So South. Thank you, Meera. So it seems like all the rumours that we were hearing so far, in the, let's say, on the past seven to eight years, has come true and it's not more no more uh, rumor but all are uh, you know right and what all we hear and discussed is right what do you want to say about it jisha yes uh, it all only reinforced our uh, belief that uh, malayalam cinema is not safe for women because even as the uh, the three member panel went through all these experiences they they themselves have, have mentioned that when they uh, initially heard this Experience incidents from these women, they 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 were, they were um, you know they, they, there was a, a sense of disbelief initially, uh, but then later after going through so much experiences, they understood the you know gravity of the situation. It was uh, beyond their imagination. They have mentioned that in that report. So um, you know, barring a few information and you know, pages where um, they have this. Uh, there are these privacy concerns, and not because they have mentioned any names, they have uh, maintained the confidentiality. Uh, and, but the, but because uh, then the media or the general public might associate that that this with any actors or other technicians involved in this uh, in this uh, films or that incidents, they have withheld a few pages. Uh, apart from that, uh, they have mentioned all the they were went through all the experiences of uh, actors, technicians, hairdressers, junior artists, dancers, and a lot of lot of them. But they have specifically mentioned how difficult it was to get uh, this information from these people because all of them scared the, uh, of, the, of the implications. You know, they, the, there was powerful persons in this media, uh, Malayalam film industry, that they all feared. So that was a challenge they have mentioned that. And uh, the report has mentioned uh, we have gone through all the all the various people. I mean, around 30 women from the, they have consulted women from around 30 sectors, including uh, dancers, technicians, cinematographers, okay. playwrights, and academics in this industry. Yeah. Right. So in this 233 pages that's been published, like, like after removing the 63 pages, the 233 pages. So what is all these two, uh, out of these 233 pages highlights? What are the key highlights of this? Yeah, specifically we, what we have uh, uh, known since the Kema Kapiti studied this uh, incident, we know that there are uh, incidents of sexual harassment mentioned in this report, ca cases of casting right. couch, and uh, demanding exactly. of sexual favors, sexual harassment, assaults. That all that was a key point in this uh, report. Uh, Hema, Justice K. Hema, who is a retired High Court judge, has specifically, uh, you know, uh, heard these victims, uh, survivors, and uh, the, the three-member panel. Uh, this include uh, K. Well, K. B. She is the former bureaucrat and a serial actor Sharada and. Uh, uh, Hema, who is the former retired uh, High Court judge, they sit through hours and hours uh, hearing their, um, you know, then them narrating these incidents. Uh, some went uh, went to late night and several hours, eight to nine hours, they have mentioned that. Uh, so it was a long process uh, of hearing these survivors and narrating their trauma. So they have been specifically mentioned how they have to they sort favors sexual favors from women even even then when they go for the auditions and uh, in there are other mentions like uh, when these women go to this uh, hotel rooms where their accommodations are provided this they have they used to get this knocking on their um, doors at the late nights it was not just knocking it was a forceful banging that they feared that they might forcefully enter their rooms 
all this you know dramatic you know we it's it's very scary to go through this report that uh, we have we you know it is so surreal that it is more uh, intense than the normal malayalam film you know so uh, these are some of the major highlights regarding the sexual harassment part of course they have avoided uh, 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 the incidents where there are uh, particular mentions of what happened in the set uh, or what happened in connection with this actor so they have removed that particular part after the page 58 you have to there are a lot of uh, pages are, are skipped so uh, this sexual harassment casting couch uh, seeking sexual favors sending nude uh, pictures other forms of harassment threatening this are uh, this is one of the shocking thing of this main report other uh, only the fact is that with there are no names mentioned exactly so uh, as the report actually opens with you know the malayalam movie industry doesn't have the glamour as you see from outside this is where the you know the report starts from which is that itself is a very shocking statement for all of us who you know you who read that report so right from that i think uh, right from the uh, casting couch or even let's say the actor sexual harassment case that broke out of, in 2017 right from there we all have been discussing is is you no know, the women's uh, uns unsafety in the industry even let's say i i know many people who even uh, mention you know i go with my parents even even yeah. that's been written in the report as well i go right. with my parents or at least my father so that i feel safe so that the people won't come to me asking for you know unnecessary things so yeah. how how true is this these kind of things is is it happening over decades in the industry or is it just you know uh, a new thing that came out after the uh, sexual harassment story in 2017 jisha this is happening for a long time and this is happening in everywhere not just in kerala because now when we have the same committee report or the actors are assault we are discussing our focus is entirely on the mollywood but uh, the truth is here some women are red and they dare to, to uh, speak out and that happened because we are focusing our light is on this industry because there are women and people who are sensible enough to talk about this and wanted to you know they wanted to end this so that is uh, that is the reason why we are discussing is because there are people who are brave enough to you know narrate this and tell this openly even i you know we cannot totally understand this the report has mentioned that even the members of wcc said that uh, that it's a reality that they the commission found that it's a reality that they are losing jobs because they are you know they you know decided to speak out and uh, yes it, this all uh, was triggered by the 2017 actor assault case and that was that initiated a uh it that triggered a lot of discussion on the safety of women and that is the reason why this all uh, you know that uh, term accumulated and burst out and there were so much discussions on this otherwise this is a uh, you know this was a, a secret but everybody knew that this is happening uh, this kind of harassment was going on and whenever this women um, you know decided to raise their voice they will stop getting their jobs um so you know, this we are discussing this at a time when this kolkata rape case is happening and the entire india is discussing this topic and see how we are discussing the issue of uh, uh, safety in work women in our workplace and the, uh, there we are see we are you know we start to read that uh, these women who are very professionals who are very uh, talented women have to take their parents and their relatives with them to their workspace how sad that is so this is uh, this is the sad reality but this is not happening here only this is happening for decades and it is happening everywhere and oh, i think this is other the industries as well yeah right but why i ask this question is because you know we we come the malayalam industry comes from a, right. uh, in ind- industry where we have artists like you know kpc lalita or kavyur ponnamma or sugumari all of this like senior artists mm-hmm. and and they have been there in the industry for decades you know even after their uh, you know uh, passing away or whatever they uh, e- even in the last minute they very confidently used to speak about the industry the food that they uh, that gave them bread and butter but it's it's just a, let's say it's uh, these has been these kind of issues have been uh, heard from the artists that came later 
Mm-hmm. So that's why I asked you: Is it just an issue that that is ha- happening? Yeah, and I, I totally understood. Yeah, 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 I totally understood yeah. that. In, uh, you know, uh, in some cases, we say that uh, the the number of uh, sexual assault is is low in particular state. It's high in some other states. Uh, the reality is that it, that the in that state it is more reported. And uh, in the in the in the case state where these numbers are low, the number of, uh, number of cases persons who approach the court are not uh, that not high. That is my one reason. The, similarly. Now uh, more people are, st- um, you know, opening up, and they don't fear anyone. They don't fear this mafia, the so-called mafia that is mentioned in Sema Committee report, and they, uh, you know, they are um, ready to say uh, open. Um, now that we have w- uh, organizations like WCC, Women in Cinema Collective, so when there is a collective, the, they have a sense of uh, safety, and uh, they can even ensure their privacy. Uh, you know, they can uh, issue a statement in, on behalf of WCC instead of standing as an individual. So that kind of a, 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 an organization, a sense of unity, came up in in Mollywood. That is one reason why uh, you know we can uh, hear that kind of voices coming out from these people individually. Yes, there were there are incidents happened even before but they were silenced by the system so this is a very powerful system and very powerful people even now we saw the struggle of this report coming out we know this report has no mention of any any individuals or any actors but still exactly. took this long to come out so we know how powerful these people can be so right. in, initially all these years these women were silenced now they, they there is a kind of a sense of unity and a, a, a better awareness and a better uh, you know um, uh, belief in the faith, maybe the system, maybe uh, more women are coming out and talking. Right, and something which was very shocking for me was the plea given by actor Ranjini. And obviously, guess, you might uh, also I, have. Yes, uh, that I could uh, a little bit understand because she ha- was one person who uh, sat there and uh, gave statement to this uh, committee. So, as someone who was uh, who has given contributed their bit, they have the right to know what was written in there uh, about them in that report. So, um, you know, especially since she is working in this industry, she has recently made but a comeback. But my to the my industry. doubt is my doubt is, Disha, it, it, this report is there within the industry for the past five six over. Over five, six years, and Ranjini, even though she was not active in front of camera, but she has always been there in the industry within Amma, so the association. But how come she didn't get a time to at least go through the uh, you know the uh, report or even discuss with, among her friends at least? So uh, no, where it went wrong? Was, what actually happened? The report was not released even to those uh, you know members of WCC. It was only with the government, only with the cultural department, and only the which MH actually was, uh, uh, some member uh, association of fifty one people, right? Uh, sorry, which include I think which included fifty one people, fifty one women in that I believe in this uh, the while submitting the Hema committee report, this had a uh, depositions of fifty one uh, yeah, artists yeah, yeah. is what now, I heard. Yeah? Even even to, even to this women, this uh, their statement, a copy of their statement was not given. So that is a kind yeah. of uh, you know that is not justified, right? So right, um, yeah. even. Only, only it was the report was only with the culture department, and an average okay. version of the recommendations was shared with all these people, and uh, even the industry uh, organizations like uh, Association of Malayalam Movie Actors and uh, the FEFCA and the MAGDA, all these associations were convened for a meeting, and this uh, the average version of the recommendations was only discussed with them. So even those people who have uh, who have given their statement before the committee uh, were not given the copy of their statement. So there are concerns among them. Regarding especially regarding the privacy or if even if, if they mentioned the name of the that particular uh, film they were they worked at that time they, their names could go out right so the confidentiality they had the uh, issues about that so Renjini, um uh, concern was that but the timing is yes, that that is questionable yeah. Exactly my point because see <laughs> that's why even I discussed it with you because it was all over there the issue the report have been discussed uh, uh, at least not showing what what it's been written there but uh, at least you could have discussed what was happening there and the timing I still believe was not right <laughs> to be very frank but yeah and then a uh, few you know especially few lines that I have to you know mention uh, to show the how derog- derogatory this report has been the things have been uh, that, that's mentioned in the report is you know they have been excluded individuals accused of serious crimes from the industry for a substantial period and there were also actors uh, which were included in uh, in some movies because they were uh, termed as 
considerable actors or comforting actors because they used to say yes to the casting couch or even they were ready to say yes to what all these big shots that was even uh, mentioned there big shots artists or even technicians ask for so uh, my thing is what i am really concerned here is about why women were you know to some extent to some point were subjugated or you know uh, were said or uh, ruled you know as in you have to go through what we are saying that kind of male power is what they have they have also mentioned here which is very sad i believe even till date is what they have mentioned is is happening so yeah. I, do you think after the uh, release of this report to some extent at least uh, the safety of the women will be considered and uh, uh, an assurance will be there will come within the women artist what do you think jisha i think at, at least a sense of um, you know um, um, at least um, there might, this this, this a uh, discussion has uh, brought out some kind of uh, professionalism in this, into this industry so hmm. uh, one thing hmm. is the hema committee dis uh, report uh, discussed uh, not just issue of safety of women but also other other topics like the work um, you know the the work uh, a contract lack of contracts in the work, um, in the profession also the pay parity and also the basic uh, um, you know um, amenities like toilet facilities and things like that even the women who um, come to the set they don't even have the changing room and uh, all the caravans they provide only for the lead lead people even the hero and heroines so all these topics the lack of infrastructure uh, and total lack of professionalism was also discussed in this uh, report so uh, the report uh, um, and the committee has um, discussed with a lot of um, stakeholders in this film industry so a sense of um, you know responsibility might have uh, at least come up in some persons at least after wcc after uh, following this uh, hammer committee um, uh, after the government constituted the committee wcc had approached um, kerala high court to implement the vishaga guidelines uh, for workplace harassment uh, act in the um, uh, malayalam industry uh, so uh, that got a favorable order so uh, the uh, the uh, malayalam cinema was supposed to constitute this work, uh, icc in their work unit so uh, even but uh, even the hema committee report has mentioned that even when they constitute this mob icc uh, the powerful people in this uh, industry has the uh, you know ability to twist this thing in their favor because uh, we know they are very powerful so uh, that committee has suggested that there must be independent committees so not just people involved in in uh, connected with this uh, industry there should be other external members so that they they, they could uh, the victims or survivors could open up uh, without fear so uh, in that sense yes there are uh, there might be some changes some some uh, film units have uh, have started implementing icc constituting icc in their sets uh, and the disc uh, producers have uh, understood the need to improve the infrastructure even for the junior artists and uh, pay parity is still a, a debatable topic but um, at least it has set forth a lot of discussions and also i understand that men started fearing uh, to ask this question of you know compromise i think to some extent uh, which is a good move actually for good, <laughs> you know after good, reading yeah. um, the you know the key highlights especially from the report i believe it's a very good change i uh, i think we are also should be there from the opposite gender artist as well it's high time i believe because after reading so many things especially like you know right from the pay disparity right from the safe accommodation of women in uh, when it comes to the you know um, uh, set location um, or even feeling safe that feeling itself was not there as what all these artists have been telling so far so that's there and uh, so can you uh, from your perspective can you see all these artist women artist who was there before and when little bit off light uh, after all these issues and everything will they be back with full power with <laughs> you know with with curiosity i'm just asking disha because I we wish. know women artists <laughs> uh, i am uh, noticing many changes even yeah. after uh, you know forming uh, the uh, wcc or icc so many so many fissures have happened uh, in the last 6 7 years okay. so uh, uh, and especially uh, artists who are very much talented are went like 
went off just like that uh, just vanished yeah. you know so my doubt is will they be back will they feel uh, you know safe enough to come back or is just the safety issue or the pay disparity is just the issue or is anything beyond so do you also feel so like there is much more to come out uh, you know uh, uh, beyond yeah. what's yeah. been discussed in this uh, hema committee report right okay. it, there is much more to come out it, it was j just a tip of iceberg I, even smaller than that i mean uh, that uh, the one particular uh, incident has mentioned in this report is that when they you know this uh, committee found it very difficult to uh, connect with uh, various stakeholders in this um, in this uh, malayalam industry especially those uh, underprivileged persons like julian artists and dancers and the people like that so they one one way they uh, one option they found it was that they formed whatsapp groups of for example whatsapp group of junior artists so they uh, constituted this one uh, group of uh, dancers and they they uh, put this message like we are these committee members and do if you have some grievances you can approach us in what they immediately saw that they one by one all dancers were leaving the group so uh, that is the fear right. they have. E even after the committee was constituted, I uh, have, there are people who have uh, told them that they are really are scared of the lack of opportunities and uh, the, you know the, the intimidation from the powerful big person in this industry. So there is an utter lack of professional professionalism in this industry, and the decisions are taken by either the producer or the director or the lead actors. When this power is centered within a few individuals. There are a lot of fear, and uh, so so still, uh, I understand the HEMA committee was unable to reach out to a lot of junior artists. So even when we speak about WCC, it is a, um, a place of a few privileged. I'm not uh, uh, belittling them; they have done a wonderful job. But there are other persons who are less privileged than them. They couldn't even uh, you know come out and speak uh, about the trauma they are facing, especially you know from right from uh, the lack of toilet facilities. To, we can imagine yeah. what kind of uh, things they are facing. So this is just uh, the tip of an iceberg, and only uh, very little information has come out. And I think, but uh, I like to see this as a positive change. We can expect more things from now on, um, at least a positive change from um, from this uh, time. But one one thing we have to remember is that this report came out in uh, report was submitted in 2019, and the government has enough time to implement most of this recommendation and still we don't know how much it was it, there was a lot of lack of transfer transparency but uh, certain things like um, uh, to provide um, um, you know um, support to I mean scholarship or funds to women directors for that a uh, certain points like that were implemented like government has taken initiative to support women filmmakers and um, and uh, such such uh, uh, steps where the government was easy to act like uh, the sexual harassment but they are still afraid i understand uh, they uh, they don't want to you know um, ruffle the feathers uh, they don't want to meddle with the industry it's a very powerful industry so uh, they have taken yeah. some recommendations which are safe to do but still uh, there is a lot to implement i mean i, I don't think uh, the women some of the problems raised by this um, committee are is it to be addressed right 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 even you know as a woman uh, as an artist i was also thinking uh you know the fear they might have been going and how the movie autumn you know is true is showing the light what's happening inside the industry i think it's a uh, it's an it's a showcase pr proven example uh in a movie form What's actually ha happening inside this, you know, movie industry, not just the, among the drama or theater. What's so happening in? Uh, I think all this it's 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 shown there through our movie. I believe right now, that Shisha, is, because that, that's, that's what I can right. <laughs> right. Uh, because yeah, uh, because... show showed that kind of a systemic silence. When we say not all exactly. men, uh, we are uh, uh, all men. All men are not perpetrators, but those who remain silent. Uh, even those, uh, they, there are men and women who remain, uh, you know, uh, those, those state silence, uh, silent to all these atrocities. They are equally, um, you know, guilty of this thing. So when a few women started to speak out, uh, thanks to WCC and thanks to all the women who have, uh, you know, compromised their career for this, 
you know i should especially thank them at this moment because uh, there was this Very systemic true. silence that we have beautifully seen in that uh, in the film artam that uh, that has uh, won the national award for the best film in very this, neatly uh, shown i think after right. hearing all this right yes exactly and also i was just thinking wcc did a great job by forming you know that time i remember uh, actor uh, one actor giving one uh, talk to one you know one other media's thing and she was mentioning that when we formed this uh, committee the wcc we never knew what was the legal aspect to it we just knew what was happening inside because we were going through it right from you know speaking up about the me too movement and everything we knew what was happening but never knew what what the legal side to it but so but personally i felt you know a person who have read uh, the issue right from the uh, day one i think in between they also went off uh, the track and do you also think that's the uh, also one of the reasons why it took this uh, delayed to at least to put the you know the report out or to release the no I, no i don't i don't like to blame blame the wcc for being you know it's not like um, we blaming uh, or yeah, belittling them uh, jisha yeah, but, never uh, yeah but, Uh, yeah but uh, on uh, no going off the track i mean uh, wcc as we know it's like a, 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 an organization of a lot of professionals and they have a lot of work to do and it is not there they are not uh, this is not their full time thing right right it is the government it is the government's responsibility wcc has um, you know has done their best by you know um, um bringing light to this in, this incidents and meeting the um, chief minister and also uh, you know uh, raising a lot of awareness and talking a lot a uh, lot about these things you know at the same time facing a lot of online attacks so i understand personally a lot of uh, women in the wcc had has to go through a lot of mental uh, distress and uh, therapies i understand a lot of okay. them have uh, let us uh, speak out that and that they have lost opportunities so i if even if wcc as an organization of women uh, this is different from a political party so uh, they they have they had done what they could and um, a lot, yeah, there was a lot of hostility in the atmosphere in uh, among the malayalam industry even there are a lot of women in malayalam industry who decided to stay away from wcc not to you know uh, invade the wrath of other senior uh, male actors so they have worked in such a hostile environment but they have done their best and i think uh, they have at least in the form of implementing icc iccs in the movie said they have done a wonderful job but i i don't i don't see them as as a as a political organization no this is a this is an organization an informal organization of a group of actors and technicians and um, you know they have done their best <laughs> i understand uh, even when we you know discuss about all these male power that's been you know uh, there in the industry for over a decades we are never mentioning about how to you know uh, avoid all these male actors no never all these we the big shots that we were mentioning or all, all of them are artists it's just one thing what i understood jisha is you know all these women artists are asking for is just an understanding just an acceptance at least to the least that they can get uh, just like the male actors or artists we have there in the industry and that there is nothing more uh, or beyond about this because i have seen many comments in many you know under all these uh, issues or whenever these hema committee report comes out or whenever any something when wcc uh, one member says of so there like i've seen uh, men uh, uh, instagram uh, handles with the men name they they mention like oh, what all these women can do just by you know using the name of equality or being just you know being a feminist uh, you can say what all you want to and you can get what all you want to achieve just by you know saying that you are a feminist or you are a feminist in the in the industry so we are never mentioning about uh, avoiding uh, or just unseeing the actors of male artists we have in the industry never i think the understanding of all this have gone somewhere wrong in between between uh, reading between the lines that has also happened i personally feel because Uh, even while discussing with my friends also with my peers also i have understood somewhere the gender uh, thing have happened which is also true but never it's never about uh, ex- avoiding them from the industry even the big shots because mm-hmm. all of them are artists uh, right. for, in the first in the first place we have to understand that and on the second place it's it's at the end of the day movie is an art and it's a collaboration of many artists who love art forms so that also we have to understand i believe uh, as an artist as uh, as an audience so 
uh, that's there. And anything you want to add, uh, Jisha, before winding up? Yeah, just just uh, coming to your point, right? This uh, this when this uh, women raised their issue, uh, this uh, the issues in Malayalam industry. This particularly came before the Me Too movement. So um, uh, nobody, even the even just like the Me Too movement, the women raised these issues not just they because because they wanted these men to be jailed or uh, they wanted uh, them to be punished in any form, but to create uh, a better awareness and a sense of security, right. exactly. they wanted it, they they wanted their workplace to be safe. And there's, there's right. nothing beyond that. They don't want these actors to be jailed or anything. And that was exactly. clear from the start itself. So uh, you know, when the, the when the actors or the organizations are feeling intimidated, they they there is there's no need to be feel feeling intimidated. All these actors, including right. the women actors, are the part of this industry. Absolutely. They're just they're asking for the basic thing to ensure safety. Exactly. Absolutely right, Jisha, because we all work in some of the other fields and we all should feel safe, not just women, even the men also, whenever they feel, you know, not OK to be here. It, it, it's just that we should have that confidence to address it off. It's not just about the woman thing. But right now, I think all the HEMA committee report uh, shows off a lot of things that was happening over a year or over a decades, actually. And I hope more uh, safety will be uh, there in the upcoming years. And it's it's a developing story, and we will be coming up with a more uh, update uh, updated stories and everything. And thank you so much, Jisha, for joining with us. Thank and you, this Meena. is Meera Nair, and you're watching India Today So South. Thank you.